the formidable robot. Log 1, February 7th, 2014. A woman by the name of Lonnie Madden was seen walking into a Party City store, as caught on the camera footage received. Lonnie can be seen walking in and searching through each aisle as if she's looking for something. Halfway through the footage, a SpongeBob Jumbo Airwalker can be seen on the ground in the first aisle she walks into. She ignores it, and continues looking for what she needs. She ends up walking to the register with a box of spray string, presumably for a child's birthday. Near the corner of the camera she's seen in, that same SpongeBob balloon can be seen peeking out from behind a small shelf of candy. Lonnie was interviewed days after leaving the store. She had this to say. It kept following me. Everywhere I went. I don't know why it freaked me out so much, but it did. I saw it slowly floating towards me when I left the store. I saw it bumping into a door to the bank when I tried to get a withdrawal, and it even followed me home. It's been floating outside of my window watching me for days. Not once did it deflate. I didn't see it go down, not even a little. Log 2, February 14, 2014. Ezra Culver, a 22-year-old male, discusses his experiences with this balloon and what it did at 3 a.m. After a house party went down, involving plenty of beer and games, he'd announced that the night was over and that everyone had to go home. Later that night, he'd lie awake in bed, and see the airwalker floating near his doorway, with his hall light switched on. Ezra would tell us about what went down afterward. I never bought a damn Spongebob balloon. I don't know if someone brought it with them or not, but I'm positive I didn't see any of my guests bring one in. Hell, most of my friends don't even like that show. Anyway, I tried going to sleep, but then I heard a fucking whisper in my ear. Something along the lines of, I just want you to love me. I opened my eyes, and it was right next to me. I shrieked and fell out of my bed, but it didn't respond to me. It didn't even move. I thought I was hallucinating, but I still wanted to get rid of it if that caused it. So, I tried locking it out of my house, but then I woke up the next morning and saw it floating in front of my window. Log 3, February 27, 2014. Emma May and Terry May explained the situation that went down in a birthday party, ran by them for their two-year-old son. They had bought several SpongeBob Airwalkers for their child, and everything seemed normal at first. Twenty minutes after the party started, Terry would walk outside with the cake and see every single balloon slowly spinning into a circle above them, with one balloon still grounded, but centered. After giving the cake to their child and attempting to ignore it, the speed of the airwalkers would accelerate above in an almost impossible race car-like speed. There were no heavy winds reported that day. Emma and Terry would rush inside and grab their phones. When we came back outside, every balloon was gone except for the one that was on the ground. Our son was cradled under his chair, screaming and wailing like he just saw a ghost. He looked genuinely terrified, and since then, he still doesn't want to tell us about what happened. We aren't sure whether it was a supernatural thing or not, but we're never buying those things again. Ever. Log 4, March 12, 2014. Interviewee prefers to remain anonymous. He states that his niece came over with a SpongeBob balloon and ended up leaving it there when she left. He'd see that it was floating into his hallway. At first, I thought nothing of it, because it's an airwalker. Then, I heard footsteps. Yes, footsteps in the hall, as if there was something haunting my house. I turned the lights on, and the balloon's shadow didn't even look like something that would come from a balloon. It was tall, bumpy, and it looked human-shaped. The shadow raised its hand up to me, which made me wonder if I was having some sort of weird vision. I turned the lights off quickly and rubbed my eyes for a moment before turning them back on. Nothing. No shadow. It didn't even revert back to its original shape. Log 5, April 1st, 2014. This is the last occurrence of whatever this phenomenon was. There is no interview because the victims refused to talk about it. David Skewicher, Maya Alvaro and Thomas Alvaro were having a cookout in the backyard of David's home. 
Upon investigating the area, we found several holes burned into the grass and certain objects within a 12-foot radius, a wooden board with bullet holes punctured in, and several balloons. Two of which were of the SpongeBob Airwalkers, with one of the two being popped. Surrounding the area was a stinging, foaming, acidic material that seemed to have melted through the porch the victims were standing in front of. The victims suffered third-degree burns across their face and torso.